I'm the lead developer of Track and Logistics Simulator. I'm uh, a developer and game designer in Simula Games. I have been working on this project since quite a while now. Um, so the game is Track and Logistics Simulator. It's a simulation game which takes uh, logistics from start to the end. By that I mean uh, in the game there are lots of different vehicle versatility. Players usually start with a smaller vehicle like a minivan, uh, similar to this one. Then as they proceed in their career they can grow their logistics fleet to larger vehicles then even larger vehicles and there are also pickups players can drive and then they can get to trucks this is a rigid truck we have licenses from Scania and MAN currently but we are already in talk with other brands then there are semi trucks all vehicles also has a realistic interior which is customizable on the left side we can see available missions for each vehicle uh, that depends on the towing capacity of the vehicle each truck can have a different capacity same thing applies for the minivans pickups vans everything uh, for example this truck has a six um, six by four version which means it has three axles and it can support the heaviest cargoes uh, we also have an american truck we want to extend to american uh, the most unique part is that uh, all missions I mean almost all of the missions begin with loading your cargo yourself so this is a telescopic handler it's a vehicle which can load containers uh, it's of course based on what attachment it has it can load containers iso tanks and everything our aim is right now to load this trailer on the right side with this uh, gas tank then I can drive to get my trailer which will begin the mission with uh, the transport. We also have cars in the game uh, which can be used for convoy escorting or for also even for transporting cargo. The game is completely open world which means uh, there are many places to explore. Um, so it's a 28 kilometer square map which I can also show quickly using the fly camera we have. Players can drive around everywhere like uh, we have for example an off-road route here which isn't very polished but it's really funny multiplayer we make sometimes events where uh, players try to drive here together to climb to the top of the hill and we also have collectible system in the game it's linked to the achievement system uh, which players can collect um, to unlock the achievements and earn a small amount of money uh, which gets higher each time you find the golden pallets it's what we call them and there are 50 of them in the map which is also a, a motivation for players to explore the map the aim of this vehicle is to uh, escort multiplayer convoys uh, how multiplayer convoys work is uh, the game has an automatic invite mechanism uh, which means, for example, another player, which I hope uh, Michael from our team is going to spawn to my location now. Um, he can get a mission from this logistics area and it automatically invites everyone around. And um, if he takes a mission from this logistics area, um, it's going to show up as a pop-up in my screen uh, and it will ask me if I, I would like to join this convoy then it shows me uh, where it starts where it's going to and it enables me to select a mission either with this vehicle with another vehicle and what's important is because this is a mission invite it's always same start same destination I, I can also join with another vehicle for example I can use a truck I can use a rigid truck even or I can use a pickup or panel van but I'll I want to right now show the convoy escort equipment so I will pick the convoy escort mission so multiplayer by the way supports up to 24 players currently which is per game of course and we are also gonna try to increase that but we had many convoys uh, which we organize in our discord server thanks for joining us um, so our aim is that 
convoy escort vehicle is for example this heavy cargo is gonna make a left turn here uh, so I can block the traffic actually I have traffic disabled right now but I can for example place my vehicle like this which will allow that heavy cargo vehicle to take the corner easily and in our uh, convoy events or even in random uh, online servers we can see that uh, players automatically can form convoys because when they see another person uh, driving through the map uh, they usually decide to follow them and join their next mission and because the game automatically invites um, you to join that mission then everyone goes from somewhere to another place uh, changing missions uh, getting different vehicles uh, in our convoy events we can have we had of course I have a bit more control here which I'm not gonna explain too much but um, our admins and moderators can also increase the room size if there are more players than our standard room size then we can have uh, convoys with up to 30 players which are very long if everyone is picking a truck and it would mean um, you if you are at the tail of the convoy you cannot see the front anymore or if you are at the front you cannot see the back side uh, anymore for example we are gonna pick a left turn here uh, I can place myself to this slot to block the traffic um, then convoy makes the turn we wait until every player make the turn uh, and by blocking the traffic we make sure uh, convoy doesn't get separated it gets uh, it doesn't slow down and etc uh, usually we have convoy escort vehicles at the start of the convoy uh, which the players usually use uh, sport cars for that because they need to be fast uh, to block the next intersection of course these convoy escort missions are just one part of the game uh, it's totally possible to uh, make multiplayer convoys um, where there is just one escort vehicle and 20 trucks uh, which drive together to the destination which is something uh, we usually do on the uh, on our discord events so we usually have uh, one event manager which um, usually drives at the front and we usually to have two event supporters as we call it uh, who just join to make sure uh, no one is trolling uh, in the convoy everyone is driving cleanly because otherwise a 30 player convoy can get quite messy if someone doesn't drive properly doesn't obey the rules and then I can chase the convoy again so this is how multiplayer works and you can imagine uh, defi definitely rain is gonna be included in a free update this year um, but we aren't yet certain how much time it will be it will take but yes uh, rain will also uh, have uh, it will cause puddles at the, on the asphalt on the roads which would make the car uh, the physics the traction of the tires it will definitely react to the rain effect there's some extra detail here which is a speed control radar uh, so these are stationed in some places in the map you can get fined if you don't obey the traffic rules and there are also um, a unique feature we have which is there are random police controls um, there are police vans which are actually radars police radars uh, that are stationed randomly around the map oh yeah I found one so this is a police van I guess this is a 50 zone so let's make it night so it's more dramatic and you can see there is a radar sign uh, beside us um, so when you see that sign uh, you should usually decide to slow down and there is a hidden police car here so we are caught and it says speed violation a hundred money and it says 76 in a 50 zone uh, the randomness makes it very interesting because each time a police van can arrive somewhere else which means you cannot usually memorize 
the police vans. Even if you play too much, it can be a surprise for the player. There are, of course, uh, radars on the Autobahn as well, which are gantry type, uh, which is a different type. Uh, and there are also those small towers as well. They ask whether or when there will be a uh, Android version releasing and how big of a file size you might anticipate it to be. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so Android version <laughs> is actually in our plans, but uh, we were also planning to release it much earlier than uh, what we were right now planning to. Um, so Android version is in development. The problem is uh, we improved the game a lot to make it look better in uh, current gen consoles. Um, the game right now runs on last gen consoles as well, uh, but we aren't yet confident enough with the performance. It means we need to work with performance a bit more and right now we have a very uh, full schedule of updates for the console version which we need to uh, um, for example playstation 5 can uh, if player enables both mirrors in the ui it, uh, it can drop below 60 fps which isn't ideal or in the convoy events for example when there are 30 vehicles in front of you it right now slows down the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, uh, which also isn't ideal. And we also plan to finish DLC first. We have to finish Nintendo Switch update first. Afterwards, I mean, we are getting there with optimization to the mobile uh, level, but we don't have an exact date when it's going to be finished. It should be this year. We are talking to Volvo currently, and we are talking to daft trucks uh, the daft trucks uh, also have a parent company um, um, so it also includes Camvert and other brands in the same umbrella i can say and we are more confident about daft currently uh, it could work and if it works it's it will very likely be a dlc in future which will include licensed tracks yeah if there are any plans for making a photo slash video mode in the game uh yes so uh, it's already we have something for it which is hiding the ui which you can see you can also uh hide the player names uh, which makes it completely cinematic and in the interior there is already you can hide the minimap but right now hiding the ui isn't an option uh, we definitely want to add that uh, we'll probably add a button somewhere to enable photo mode and by enabling that it will probably hide the ui we also have lots of developer tools available like adding a depth of field to the screenshots or change the lighting which is already available to players yeah it's definitely something in our list but uh, I cannot promise when we are gonna be able to do that. Uh, we also talked about racing. It will be just a fun addition to the game, which only works in multiplayer. There won't be an AI, and uh, you will. It wouldn't be like any other racing games. It will just be a simple bonus mission. Uh, we are gonna allow the players using the existing system. So we already have a navigation system. You can see, and if player gets a race car they are gonna be able to see the for example right now on the bottom left of my screen you can see logistics center construction site current caravan transport so they are color-coded uh, mission areas uh, and when you are a racing car you can also see um, the racing beginning points so there aren't normal missions um, ra racing cars i mean we, we call it supercar so the this car is actually um it's part of a v mission uh, which is a car transport mission uh, we call it enclosed car transporter which also exists in li real life to transport uh, such heavy cargo um, and it will this is a screenshot which is almost uh, 
perhaps 70% complete I can say and this car accompanies this uh, trailer so because this trailer usually is only used to transport very uh, expensive cars because you want to protect them from the elements of the weather and stuff by the way this is the gantry type radar in the game while I see it and I also wish to show you the car transporter yeah this is the car transporter for example this wouldn't be used to transport supercars because then uh, there can be something wrong and the car can be damaged in transport and these enclosed car transporters are that's why these trailers exist and we decided to make a DLC of this trailer because our 3D artist researched and uh, basically we said uh, what's the coolest trailer in the world <laughs> and we decided it's this one because it has chrome as I said this is not final so the reflections aren't perfect but it has chrome um, details it has many lights it also looks very cool at night so this is uh, how it looks it's still in development so you, you load the uh, actually you you will firstly load the top part the uh, upper deck of this elevator mechanism then you lift the car up and you load the bottom side as well uh, with this car it also works similar in the other mission will you be able to add a police chase system in the game so police chase uh, it wouldn't be done with the ai because uh, creating such AI is a very complicated process I mean a police chase like in GTA it's not something uh, we are planning to uh, spend time on instead we will definitely spend time on more of more on the logistics side of things because the game is cross-platform by the way if I didn't mention that the game is cross-platform and uh, right now perhaps half the players are from PlayStation 5 perhaps 10 of them are from Xbox uh, 10 of them are from Steam and it will also support Nintendo Switch after they receive the update it means if we update the game and add a new vehicle that will break the crossplay um, so we need to release the updates syn synchronously uh, which means we cannot release it on Steam first PlayStation 5 later but we uh, we usually pick up a date, uh, finish it by then, and then we can release at the, that exact date to all platforms together. Uh, but Steam would have a faster hotfix uh, because it requires less testing uh, on our side, but it doesn't mean so all the big updates are gonna be released at the same time. So yeah, we are we have a plan to improve on the. Uh, role-playing side like uh, your driver progress uh, players begin with a uh, driver of course uh, right now they just proceed progress through the game with purchasing heavier and heavier c vehicles um, in future we plan to have a RPG like driver progression system uh, which is gonna include driving licenses for example you finish missions you gain experience you can use it to level up and leveling up you will be able to choose licenses for example this vehicle is going to require a license or uh, other vehicles as well and cargoes above 8 tons is gonna require a license it's just a number I made with such progression players are also going to be able to choose uh, which side they are planning to progress on for example they can either choose this vehicle uh, to get the license first or they can choose to get a license for a wheel loader instead so they are gonna be available at the same level then it will be kind of tree like uh, structure of RPG progression and when they begin they will also not be able to drive this truck and this is one of the late truck models uh, which has three axles three axles means it can carry the uh, carry more cargoes because it has uh, more weight capacity they will first start with uh, minivans like this one uh, and car license then they will upgrade to 
be able to drive a pickup and after a while they are gonna unlock the license for these vehicles then a, either a rigid truck or a light truck like this one or this one or this one and then the latest they are gonna be able to unlock 6x4 or 6x2 trucks which will unlock all the missions and for example we also plan to have dangerous cargos behind the license as well uh, like the gas tank mission you can see the loaders here for example there is the skid steer loader which I never actually uh, shown um, that's also some mission which is an optional so you can either choose this one or for example the heavier forklift mission that's how the driver's career will progress and uh, with this system we also wish to include that uh, company side like uh, choosing a logo for your company which will you will be able to add a decal to your uh, trailers and trucks we also have in evaluation plans about company management in which we could hire drivers assign them vehicles then they would also do missions on their own and they would also have trades they would have levels uh, some has less licenses but has lower wage <laughs> and players can decide to assign vehicles to correct drivers and they would also earn you more revenue allowing to extend your garage and larger garages will support even more drivers we have a system like that in design i can say but it's a very big feature and we are not even sure yet uh, if it's feasible or if we will do it uh, in future it, it depends on um, how successful the game is how it keeps getting uh, popular uh, if or if it keeps the popularity it has currently i can say i've got uh, another one from phantom uh, mentioning the dlc there as well um is there an idea on price uh, or will there be uh, so the pricing we didn't yet decide on that um for example the first dlc it's gonna be including this car this trailer a new mission uh which lot with lots of animation inside the vehicle and it's it's very hard to model uh, and we are also gonna have a trailer like this which isn't not going to be used for supercars only but it's gonna be able to use for other vehicles as well so lighter vehicles can tow that for example a pickup or a, there are also suvs for example uh, such vehicles would be able to tow that so the this drc already includes like a supercar trailer uh, another small trailer uh, new missions um, so it will depend on how much content the dlc has for example we are also planning a flatbed dlc uh, which would have lots of mission versatility it could carry generators like that it could carry plywood and it would have these drop side doors which can fold down uh, to be allowed loading it with a forklift or we have a dlc which we plan uh, in future also this year which we are gonna add these grapple attachments to existing vehicles uh, to load wooden locks to trailers uh, one of the trailer is something like this uh, it's already it's modeled it's a bit modeled larger than what we expected so a pickup is gonna tow that so it's gonna be get a bit smaller uh, and we have this trailer also in development so this doesn't yet have a button part but the cargo will look better than that uh, so it's also in development uh, this is a DLC and skip trucks will be a DLC so this is actually a simpler DLC which will have um, so you can see this vehicle uh, you can see I'm loading this uh, trailer uh, that skip trucks uh, bucket or I don't know the yellow part <laughs> I will call that a bucket for now it will stay on the ground you are gonna load it with this skid steer loader and then you are going to pick that up uh, after it's loaded you are gonna pick that up with this 
mechanism on the skip track uh, and it will all depend on the content of the content of the content mission of the so mission. It, it can so there can be three euros for a DLC there can be 10 euros for a DLC uh, a licensed track DLC can be higher if it includes four trucks in one DLC for example uh, it all depends on the content so if or in the recovery we uh, if the recovery vehicle is added mm -hmm. could it potentially carry fuel uh, for players who may run out on their on their journey yes uh, it's already in our list so recovery vehicle we're, we were also we also have this gas tank trailer in development um, you can see it doesn't have the wheels or stuff yet but the tank is almost complete uh, we also have this command trailer in development and we also plan to do it with the gas tank trailer so it's not entirely very realistic but it will be fun option to uh, if there is a imagine a large convoy of 30 people and there is a player with a gas tank there and other vehicles could stop by that and ask for a refuel uh, such stuff in multiplayer i find very cool uh, very cool ideas uh, same for the recovery vehicle it could carry a limited amount of fuel perhaps that's a very nice idea and if we ever add that recovery vehicle this truck for example it's a recovery truck uh, it has a crane on the back it can pull tow the vehicles uh, which fell down uh, are stuck or etc and perhaps in real life they do also carry fuel I, i'm not aware of that if they do uh, yeah it can carry perhaps a hundred liters or twenty hundred sorry two hundred liters of fuel to refill if someone is out of fuel yeah that's a very that's a very nice cooperative ex ex aspect we can add to the game